So Tracy wants to come into this house. Never, not on my watch. I will make sure that my kid brother ends everything he has with her. Can you imagine? She's not even a wife material. In fact, in fact, no, 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 no. Let me call Alex. I need to settle this. Hello? Alex, uh, you should have been home by now. Hi, sis. Um, I stopped over at a restaurant to have lunch. <laughs> I hope you haven't gone to see that silly girl. What do you mean, cheeky girl? Who's that? Who else? If not that Tracy. What has she done? Alex, do you know that Tracy came to this house? and insulted the living hell out of me. Are you serious about this? Yes. Do you know that she has the audacity and temerity to call me Ruby? Me. She called me names. Not you know, I was only being nice as a nice person that I am. She just started calling me names, old cargo and the rest of them. She said all that to you? Alex, have I ever lied to you before? Or is it that girl I'm going to lie against? I'm not going to lie against her, and this is how everything happened. This doesn't make sense. I mean, Tracy saw you for the first time and she decided to be rude to you? So where is she? <laughs> <laughs> we are home! Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> the Mom! <laughs> my beautiful daughter. Oh, oh God, you my baby. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on. You, you look great. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Tell me, what have you been feeling, Dad? Taking good care of him. Of course, I trust you and the chef. Mm. <laughs> I'm doing my job. <laughs> they look good there. Thank, Thank you, you so Mom. much. Thank you welcome, so welcome, much. welcome, welcome. Mom, Mom take a good look at you. Dad, mm. tell me, did you share the vampire serum with her? Oh, I don't have a choice. You know, it takes two to tango. Of course. <laughs> I'm lost. You're not aging. That's what it means. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, what's eating you up? Tell me. Dorothy. You know you can tell me anything. You've been my gossip mate right from when we were teens. So come on, spill. What is it? I insulted my boyfriend's older sister. No. Mm. The same one you've been talking to me about? Yes. I never knew she was a sister. Um, okay, did you apologize? Yes, I did. But it was already too late. The lady walked me out of my man's house and warned me never to return. <sighs> and your guy? He wasn't home when it happened. But I tried calling to apologize to him, but she wasn't picking up. I guess... The sister must have told him everything that transpired. Uh, I see. Listen, it's to be expected. I'm sure he's just angry at the moment. So give him a little bit of time and call back. Hmm? Come on, beautiful Tracy. Mm. Oh, no, 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 sis. Beauty without 
having a man is nothing. I can't just be in a relationship today. And after two months, we've broken up already. It's not making sense. Then you have to work on your attitude. I'm sorry to say this to you, Trace. Your attitude is zero. You have zero character. And trust me, no man, none, no one can deal with something like that. So you have to start working on it. Hold it right there. Are you also trying to insult me? Not at all. The thing is, you are my twin. And I love you so much. And that's why I'm telling you the truth. You... But as it stands, I will always tell you the truth. You, my darling, are a sport brat. Sorry. Dorothy. Daddy. Besides, uh, mom was always lenient with you, like... She, she she allowed you to get away with everything. And when dad tried to scold us, you know, she, she always scolded dad. And made you believe that you were the most prettiest girl on earth. And that with beauty and wealth, you, you know, you had everything. So you didn't have to worry about anything. And that way, I think it kind of like, inculcated so much pride into you. Come on, Trace. Daddy was and is still harsh. So mom, mom was never wrong about him. Well, I think what dad was trying to do was forge us into independent women. He wanted us to become good women in, in the society. And of course I'm a good woman. No, Please, I need you to talk to my boyfriend on my behalf. That's what I want. Why? Mean. Yes, don't lecture me about life. Why should I do that? He I wasn't. Listen. Who wronged him? He Not me. To you. No. You have to own up to your mistakes. Apologize when you're wrong. That's the first step to Please. being a good person. Can you just listen to me? I want you to beg him, Trace, on my behalf. Please. I just listen to you. I listen to all your ramblings, and the fact is, you need to start taking responsibility for your actions. It's simple. Okay, I've heard you. But this time, are you going to talk to him or not? No, Trace. I won't. Oh. Oh. Baby girl. Please get to me. Oh, please. You're just. Oh, come not on. Coming. I just got back. I don't know to deal with all of this. Go and apologize. You did something wrong. Fix it. Really? Of course, I'm not going to pamper you forever. You live around here? Well, not too far from here. Oh, my name is Alex. <laughs> Dorothy. Nice to meet you. Same here. Um, you do this often? Uh, yes, but I haven't done this in a while. Oh, okay. So what do you do? Well, I just, uh, I just got my master's in medicine and surgery. Yet to practice in this country, though. Oh, really? Mm. So you're a medical doctor? That I am. Uh, let's jog together. Wakey, wakey. Trace. Oh. So 
don't tell me you're still sleeping by this time of the morning. What? Tracy. Oh my God. You are so lazy. Come on, wake up. Who did you inherit your lazy bones from? Myself. You know what? There are too many things seriously off about you. You need to change your character. No, no, no. It's giving me a lot of negative vibes. Come just, on, just please. Hold, it there. hold what? This is me. And I love the woman I've become. A lazy, beautiful woman. Please just stop. I don't want this this morning. It's too early. Now I begin to see what mom was going through because she said she literally comes here every morning and has to wake you up by sprinkling water on you. And I've warned her to stop that. The next time she does that, I will not take it like you. Shut your that. mouth. What's uh, that? Uh, uh, please just stop it. Don't tell me to shut my mouth. No, I can tell you to shut your mouth. I am your elder. Yeah. My older sister, mm -hmm. you, help no. We were both born the same day. Need so I you're not my older. I remind you, Trace, that I came out before you. So automatically, I am oldest. Deal with it. Whatever. Just don't wake me again. I will. So why do I feel like I have found the right person with me? She might be the one. I feel it. <laughs> I just have this strange feeling. It's like, it's possible she's the one. Let's try and see. Don't try. And get your lazy don't behind try. of you, this you, don't bed. Don't let me lose it. Don't let me lose it. I'm going to let me lose it. Get, get out of my bed. You ain't going to sleep. Out. You know I'm here. You, you, you ain't going to sleep. That. Oh, yeah. this is my food. Uh, <laughs> get up. No way. Get up. No way. No, let, 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 let me alone. Leave me alone. Get my food. What's that? Alex. Who's Alex? But, my friend, on a more serious note, you know you and I do not agree because of this your attitude. You need to change it. Come on. Your friend, yeah. you just got back yesterday. Oh. Hello? How are you? I'm okay. I'm good. Are you home now? Yeah, uh, I'm home. I'm about to have a cold shower. What about you? I just... I just got in and I'm yet to freshen up. Why? Because of my sister. Trust me, she's crazy. Are you serious right now? Oh, you have a sister? In fact, my twin, Doe, I came out before her. You are mad. Trust me. Oh, you have a twin sister. That's really cool. Are you guys identical? Ah. Thank God we are not identical. Else people will be mistaking me for our insistent madness. D, you've, in fact, you're stupid. I'm <sighs> done with you. Oh. Um, well, is that her? What's her name? <gasps> Tracy. Oga, can you just mind your business and stop asking after my name? Not like you're going to catch a check with it. What is wrong with you? You don't talk to my friend in that manner. Oh, really? Come on. Get out. You get out. No, you get out. Get out. In fact, I am going for breakfast. It's better. Enjoy your boring call. Bye. Whatever. Bye. Whatever. Hello, <laughs> Alex. Yeah, hello. I'm still here. Enjoy it. Sorry about that. That's strange. She's crazy. No, that's okay. So tell me, does your sister have a boyfriend? Alex, please. I do not want to be in her black books today. Please. Um, let's say you don't know if she has a boyfriend, huh? Well, uh, okay. She told me yesterday she kind of had a run-in with her man's elder sister. She, she, called, she called her names, insulted her. Uh, but that's the typical trace. It's just one of those things she does to herself. Well, you know what? Trust me. Trace, she's crazy, she's lazy, and she's rude. Ah, 
She can you believe that I just even woke her? Imagine, she's been sleeping all the while. Hey, uh, I'm gonna call you back, okay? I have uh, an incoming call. Yeah. Someone's trying to call me. Yeah, I'll call you back. Oh, that's okay. I'll just shower all the same. Bye. Ah. <sighs> Tracy, Tracy, at least I won. She never got the sleep. <sighs> oh. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How was work? Work, work was fine. I am a private school teacher. Oh. I work in a private school as a teacher, yeah. You didn't tell me you teach or you're a teacher. Uh, that's because we didn't talk for long and you didn't ask. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, I'm here now. You said you wanted us to talk, so let's do that. Dorothy, so I wanted to ask you a question. Go ahead. Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, no. I mean, uh, a brilliant doctor like you should be in a relationship. Well, I feel guys are a distraction, so I don't think I need that now. Guys, you said? Mm hmm That includes me? I haven't said that. I really, really like you. And um, if you permit me, I'd like to get married to you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, let's... I prefer we remain friends, Alex. Okay? Why? Because I'm a poor teacher. No. No, not at all. All right. So, tell me, how long have you been away? Three years. Three years? Mm-hmm. Um, that's a long time. <sighs> yeah. So, what's your next plan? To practice, of course. Here or overseas? Of course, here. Come on. My parents, they have... Uh, just the three of us. I mean, my brother, my twin sister, and I, so. Oh, yes, I remember you said you're a twin. You have a twin. Tracy. <laughs> Is yes. that her name? Of course, yes. How's she doing? Uh, trust me, no one knows what's wrong with Tracy. No idea. Okay. So, uh, she a graduate like yourself? medical doctor or something? <laughs> Fortunately and unfortunately, no. She's... <laughs> Tracy's not the brightest. Oh, I see. Yeah. So she's still an undergraduate in the State University. Wow. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. 
have you been able to get Alex on phone since then? No, he has refused to take my calls. Then go to his house and beg him. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I can't. His sister warned me never to step foot into that house. Again. Okay, in that case, I will go with you and beg on your behalf. <sighs> That's fine, but at this point, I think I, I lost Alex. <laughs> it's funny, because this is making a total of five men you've lost in less than five months, baby girl. <laughs> Whatever. I know who I am. I am beautiful. I am bold. So this Nikon pose can never make me lose my worth. I can't look less than who I am. <laughs> Tracy, beauty will only take you to meet a man. But character will keep that man. And that character is what you don't have. You really need to go tell it. You need to look at yourself. Check yourself very well. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I'm not bluffing. You need to calm down. You need to like bring down your shoulders. Try and amend some things in your life. You're not saying anything. Mm -mm. I'll be joining my sister to jog tomorrow. <laughs> Chinese jog. When did that one start? It will be starting tomorrow. You know you never seem to amuse me. Fresh, fresh. Classic, classic. Fresh, fresh. Come on. She's fresh. She's fresh. She's classy. She's classy. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's tight. She's tight. She's fresh. She's fresh. She's classy. She's classy. She's all about yeah, the money. Yeah. Money. She's a lady. 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 She's a lady. 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 She's, She's a classy lady. lady. Yeah. She's a lady. 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 Lady, lady, she's a lady, 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 lady. lady. she's a money lady. lady. Jay. Jay. She don't really care about what you do for a living. You're very funny. So because your sister got a boyfriend while jogging, you two want to go and jog. Mm-hmm. And also, I want to be sure it's not my Alex. Now you're thinking in the same light. What if it happens to be Alex? What are you going to do? Never. I won't let that happen. This can never be my Alex. Dorothy cannot have my boyfriend. Not under my watch. My own is two sisters cannot be fighting over one man. You will be crying shame. Alex is mine. That's fine. <laughs> the last time I checked, you two are no longer together. He has moved on with his life. Oh, can you just stop it? Vanessa, what is this thing with he has moved on with his life, he has left you and all that? What's, what's the meaning of this whole madness? Please Tracy, stop it. Can we just tell ourselves the truth? In fact, you need to tell yourself the truth because you know Alice has moved on. <laughs> that guy has moved on, so any girl can crush on him. Not Dorothy. Any other girl can. Not my twin sister. Never. <laughs> okay. Alex is mine. Nobody's going to take him away from me. He's my boyfriend. He's mine. Am I alone? Alex is yours. Mm -hmm. Well, this is ridiculous because I know Alex is not yours. Says who? Says you and Alex because you guys are not talking with each other. You guys are not talking to each other. So, it doesn't what are you matter. Saying? It doesn't matter. Any other girl can have him. Not my sister. Can you just do this with me? So, tell me, yeah. is your new friend coming out to job today? I wouldn't know. He has his life to live. Really? Mm. Is he handsome? Why do you ask? Remember, we don't hide things from each other. We have a very sharp memory, Trace. That's fine. So, what does he do for a living? He's a classroom teacher. What? The classroom teacher? Mm-hmm. 
That simply means he's broke. Your, your boyfriend is broke. Oh, a broke friend mm -hmm. with a very sharp vision. Huh? What stupid vision? He's poor and broke. I hope he didn't ask you out. Well, he did ask me to marry him. What? Who gave him that nerves to ask you out? A rich daughter Trace. of Chief Williams. Oh, please. Can you just shush? He asked me and not you. Whatever. Come on, why are you crying on the bereave? Besides, oh, it's my decision to take if I want to be with him or not. Mm -hmm. But I think I like him though. You think? I do like him. <sighs> Sis, why are you going to? Oh, home. Why? Is your new friend coming out to jog today? No, he told me he had um, an early morning class. I think he has to handle the assembly or something. That's fine. Bye! Trace! Come on! Typical Tracy. Wow. Do you mean she actually came out to jog with me? Because she thought she was going to see Alex. You're crazy. I don't want to believe what my ears heard today. The son of a nobody asked my sister, my sister, a trained medical doctor, to marry his poor ass. Wow, it is his audacity for me. I don't blame him. I blame Dorothy, my sister. How come nature has brought this, this nonsense? He gave that idiot the guts so tell her all of this. Okay. <laughs> if it were to be me, I will slap the living day out of him. Trust me, because I know what I'm capable of doing. A king's seed can never eat grass. Imagine. Only marry me. <sighs> How you wouldn't let me rest, you were all over me. Hey, then you loved me now. I don't know I what is going on. Come on. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning. Tracy. Uh -uh. You freshened up already. I thought you went jogging with your sister. Yes, I did. But your daughter was being cheapish. I hope you've not quarreled with your sister out there. No. Your daughter is about to make the biggest mistake of her life. Why do you say so? She plans to settle down with a low life. A common class room teacher. Who has nothing attached to his name. Who is he? Oh, he's, he's called Alexandra. A commoner. A common classroom teacher who has nothing, absolutely nothing, to offer her. If they love each other and wish to come together in good imagination, I will let them in good house of God. You're not going to allow our first daughter, a trained surgeon, to end up with a low life. Hereta, I am not the one to marry these girls. Chief. Our daughter deserves someone better. Well, I am not going to be in support of that kind of marriage at all. I trust Dorothy to make good decisions for herself. She will have her choice. Our daughter deserves better. Trust me. Get your own man, and we will support you. Really? Now?
Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? It was great, and yours? Yes, I did. So tell me, have you left for school? Uh, yes, I told you I'll be leaving very early, right? That means you're in school now. Yes, I am. What about you? Jogging. Oh, you're on the road now, jogging? Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. You know, I miss working out with a beautiful damsel like you. Trust me, Halek. You sure have your way with words. I say things the way they are. And I was honest when I said you're very beautiful inside out. Is that flattery? I'm not flattering you, my love. What did you just call me? The reason I want to make you the queen of my empire. Queen of what empire, Alex? You're just a classroom teacher. Listen, don't look down on me, okay? I might be a classroom teacher, but nobody knows tomorrow. Listen, marry me and be happy for the rest of your life. Hello? Are you still there? I'm here. Why are you not talking? Or is it because I am a poor school teacher? That's besides the point, Alex. I mean, you, you, just, you just met me and you're asking me to marry you. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, fine, we'll talk about it. I hear about you and one poor classroom teacher. 6 a.m. news. <laughs> I see Tracy has fed you with some news, right? Dorothy. Yes, mom. Read my lips. You will never marry that gold digger. Not on my watch. Gold digger? Marriage? Oops. Ma'am! Off to shower. Mom, what did you prepare for breakfast? Go make I'm yourself hungry. something to eat. You're hungry. Come on, chef. Oh, I love you. I love you too. You know that, right? Yes, I know. But then, your friend doesn't like me. As a matter of fact, she doesn't like seeing me around. I've told you to concentrate on me. Oh, are you dating my friend? It's me, right? So, my friend doesn't matter. I know, I know. But then she's a distraction, you know that. I'm a big girl. I'm 100% responsible of myself. I can choose who to love, choose who to be my friend, and who to meet. My friend does not have a say in my life. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, leave my friend out of this. It's me and you. Look, and I'll be here for you. Mm -hmm. Because you're my sunshine. And I'll love you now and forever. <laughs> I love you too. It's me and you against the world. You know you're my lucky charm. Yeah. My answered prayer. <laughs> my blessing from God. My epitome of beauty and originality. See, I can't trade you for anything. Mm -hmm. And look, whatever I'm telling you is from my heart to you. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't tell me you're such a good boy. Am I? Of course you are. Who? Cool. So tell me, after school, what's next? I'll go for service. Mm -hmm. Service is my debt to everybody will go for service. So mm -hmm. after your one year service, what's next? I'll get married. Why the rush? You don't have any aspiration in life. You don't want to work. Look, my parents actually wanted me to get married. But then I insisted on finishing my education in the university before getting into that. And it didn't actually sit well with my parents. Wait, they want you to marry at the age of 26? 
Clue, baby. I'm the only son of Justice Gregory and Professor Grace Mbakwe. Wait. Wait. Professor Grace of Grayson University. And the son. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you hide it from me? Babe, due to the circumstances that made me lose my three academic section in the University of Lagos. So, I didn't really want to like blow my, my, my identity when I entered this university. Okay, so what happened? No, a group of called boys, they wanted me to join them. But then I refused and it cost the life of so many other of my colleagues. Wait, so you refused to join them and they started killing themselves? Yeah, I refused. Of course, I just told you. I'm the only son and I, I, I didn't want to trade that part. Okay, and and then a lot of people lost their life. And as a matter of fact, I don't I, I don't actually feel good anytime I remember that. So I don't want to just relive that past. So let's just allow the past be in the past. And that is why you hid who you are from me. Come on, it's not like I'm hiding it. No, you, you, you did that. You're going to be my wife. And I'm not the person, hiding anything. No, 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 wait. I'm going to be your wife. I know. But is that not enough reason to tell me who you are? Why did you hide it from me all this while? That means I don't even know you. So start talking. What else? It was for the best. Okay, fine. What else? You just called me a poet. You owe me. Seriously. I hope it's not big. It's big. Hello, good afternoon. Ah, is um, school. Oh, stressful, right? And ah, your children. <laughs> I know, I meant your class pupils. So you make calls whilst teaching, quite unlike when I was a teacher. Yes, you know, back then, before I left the country, uh, there was this ASU strike. So I had to get a job around our estate where I was teaching and I fell in love with the teaching profession. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, I don't just like being idle. <laughs> Alex, please. You know what? You're just being ungrateful. See, I know so many private teachers who do not have cars, yet you have one. Come on, you should be thankful to God. It's a yes. <laughs> oh, Alex. <laughs> Why do you ha have to do all of this to impress me? Because I care about you and I want you to accept me. How much do you care? I care so much about you. Okay. Well, I like you so much, but I really want to, you know, get a job before I say I do. Yeah, but getting married to 
someone like me wouldn't stop anything. I need time to put everything in place. How much time do you need? Tell me, where do you stay? I mean, we've been hanging around and I want to know your place. Well, good thing that you asked because I was waiting for you to do that. But the time is far spent. We can do that over the weekend. Weekend it is. Please enjoy your meal. And you still haven't answered my question. Why would you want to spend a month's salary in just one evening on a dinner date? Eat your food. she went to see her new boyfriend. You think she went to see her new boyfriend? So because she went out, you now concluded that she went to see her boyfriend? Mm-hmm. Tell me, when are you going to bring a man, I mean an eligible suitor, to this house? Daddy, I am still in school. I'll do that once I'm done with my education. There's nothing wrong in you getting married, even while you are in school. Your sister just came back and she already has a sweetheart. <laughs> Daddy, how do you play too much? Come on. Is that one a suitor? Daddy? Is a poor classroom teacher eligible? Daddy, don't worry. When I'm ready, I'll get you a billionaire suitor. You like it. But for now, no way. I can't settle for less. Not for a broke man. You see why no man fancies you? You have zero character traits. Trotty is way better than you are. Daddy, you, you not compare me with your daughter? Anyways, I am more beautiful. And my own kind of a man will come and accept me like that. Huh? Tracy, beauty, they say, is in the eye of the beholder. What you call beauty is not what men call beauty, but innate character. Dorothy has this striking personality that we don't have. He's finally here. Oh my God. Here's who we have. Hi, You're kid. finally here. Yeah. How good evening, you? kid brother. How are you? You okay? I'm good, thank what you. you. What are you cooking? What else? The famous Nigerian jollof <laughs> <laughs> I can smell it. I'm sure it's going to be very delicious. Trust me. I know. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait to hear all about your date. How did it go? It went well. It went well. Are you serious? Yeah, it went well. Okay. Were you able to ask her the question again? Yes, I did. Um, 
I did. And what was her response this time? Uh, she said yes, but not entirely. However, I am still trying to win her over. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. Dorothy. Yeah. I was told you left this house to see a man. Well, yes. I mean, the same man who asked me to marry him. You mean the wretched, good-for-nothing classroom teacher was the one you left this house to go be with? Well, ma'am, Alex and I had a dinner date. What stupid dinner date with a church rat? He's not a church rat, ma'am. This, this is unreasonable. Come on. If he's not a church rat, Dorothy, tell me, what is a man? nothing to his name tell me enough enough chief, chief chief please let's tell her the plain truth what plain truth are you talking about that your daughter should not go on a date with a man who has proposed and married to her what is wrong with you chief there's nothing wrong with me i will not sit by and watch my daughter marry and never do well not while i'm still alive ma'am i love alex and I am definitely going to marry him. What do you know about love? You just came into this country, all of a sudden you are in love. Who does that? Does it really matter? It does matter, my dear. It matters. FYI, mom. Your dearest daughter, Tracy's best friend, Vanessa, is actually dating the son of Chief Justice and Professor Grace Umbakwe. Yes, the honors of Gracias University, my alma mater. I think you should tell that to your beloved daughter. Stop looking down on people, mom. That's one lesson you never taught her. You should try to teach her that now that she's an adult. And good luck with that, because you need it. Bro, tell me something. Is she beautiful? Yes, she's very beautiful. Wow. She's, she's gorgeous, actually. Okay, were you able to take some pictures of her? Oh yes, we took some pictures. In fact, we took a picture in my rickety car. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this. Inside that your rickety car. <laughs> Did I tell you her sister gave me a new name? In fact, a nickname. She said, Alex with the rickety car. No, she didn't. She did. If she did, that means she's a very saucy girl. <laughs> Honestly. Her twin sister. Hold on. Is she a twin? Surprisingly, she is Tracy's twin. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Which Tracy are we talking about here? Is it that saucy Tracy? Yeah. Hold on, bro. How can you be involved with someone that is connected to Tracy? That saucy girl. If she's her twin sister, it means that they have similar character. No, Dorothy is way different. She's actually very humble and very well behaved. Are you serious? Yes. I'll pick Dorothy any day. She's totally different from her sister. Even when you are aware that she is your ex's sister, twin sister for that matter. Charles, Justice Gregory, and Professor Grace, Mbakoe's only child. How is that even possible? That thing is the son of the sun. I can't believe this. This is so impossible to believe. How come? How come I'm just hearing it for the first time? Vanessa chose to keep this away from me and allow me to keep fooling myself by looking down on that guy. 
Oh my goodness. This is the very reason I lost Alex in the first place. And now I've lost this one. <sighs> ah! Trace, what is this? Come on. You keep turning and turning. Why are you not sleeping for God's sake? I have an interview tomorrow. Please, let me sleep. Oh, I can't sleep. I can't. Then why can't you sleep? The fact that this guy, this, this child's guy that I always insult every day of my life is actually rage and not poor. Gets me sick. Makes me want to lose my mind. You know, I, I don't know what to do. <sighs> Trace, listen. <clears throat> it's not like I want to school you all the time. But honestly, you have to deal with this your overbearing attitude. Man, I understand that mom spoiled you. But... It would be such a shame if, at the end of the day, no man finds you marriageable. Oh. You have to just work on yourself, girl. You know, um, losing my handsome, rich boyfriend is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. I, I, I can't, it, it's, it's my worst nightmare, and I can't forgive myself for that action. Oh, he's actually a very sweet guy who tolerated my essays. Now he hasn't called nor replied to my messages. I don't know what to do. I've tested him. He, he just don't want to get back to me. I feel so bad right now. I miss him so much. Okay, Trace, can you just move on? What? Yeah, he's moved on. I suggest you just pick yourself up from wherever he's left you, dust yourself, mm. and move on. Yeah, uh, that's very important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, Doc. Yeah. Okay, you, you can call me back, uh, let's say, in the next two hours. Okay, alright, no problems. I'll respect your call. Alright, bye. Hi. Alex. You. Just sit down. Uh, oh. You. You. You're supposed to be. You, you're supposed to be a classroom teacher. What what are what are you doing in the office of? I'm in charge here. In charge. But like, hold hold on. I mean, this this is the office of the chief medical director. You you. I am in charge here. You're trying to say you you a doctor? Listen, I apologize for. not disclosing my identity to you. So, so, so you, you, you're not, why, why, why did you lie to me? I just apologized for not disclosing my identity to you. 
I wanted I wanted you to love me for who I am and not what I am. <laughs> I swear. Chi, you don't even know what is going on in this house. Miss Dorothy has a suit of that wants to marry her. But my madam said he will not marry him. And from my findings, the man is a school teacher. My sister, I don't know. My madam has called him a low life, a good for nothing, never do well, church rat, wretched man. In fact, I've lost count of the numerous names she has called this young man within this short period of time. Exactly, my dear. Exactly. My sister, how did you know? She's actually the one fueling this whole thing. I beg, enough of that. How is Mama? Mm. Okay, I'll come on Sunday evening to see you people. Okay, greet everyone from you. You see, I fell in love with someone on Facebook. We got talking and... We figured out we live in the same town. So we decided to go out on a date. I decided to play a game. I decided to misrepresent myself. I decided to disguise, call it whatever. So I drove the funny car to her and... The um, same car? Yeah. To cut a long story short, she was upset with me and uh, she felt I wasn't the person she was talking to on Facebook. Uh, she called me all types of names and... Uh, insulted me she gave me a nickname she called me alex with the rickety car and all kinds of things so i just left i figured she wasn't the right person for me so i left in fact to cut a long story short she she was very very disrespectful to my sister and i was like okay i can take that I can take all she did to me, but I can't, you know, take the fact that she was disrespectful to my sister. So I just said, you know what, I'm done. Yeah. Oi. What's this girl's name? Tracy. Yeah, I feel like she's your sister. Oh. Um, then is you cannot possibly be with two sisters. She's my twin. I. Hey, do it, queen. Your sister is in my past. All right. I I split with her a long time ago before I met you. So. Well. And I apologize. I mean, I. I, I realized she wasn't the right person for me. You know, she was all over the place. She had a bad attitude, like. So I, I just, you know, decided to move on. You know, I, I didn't want any drama because I, I don't like dramatic people, so. Yes. But listen, I, I, I'm sorry, okay? I apologize and I promise to make things right. Uh, Alex, you, the, the thing is, I cannot fight my twin over you. 
She... I split with her before I met you. Yeah. Excuse me. Vanessa, how could you? What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because I don't know what you're talking about. Who are Charles' parents? His parents are his parents, of course. Is it true of, uh, that his father is Justice Gregory and his mother, Professor Grace of Gracial University? So he told me yesterday. You mean... He told you about his identity just yesterday. Exactly my point. Why would someone hide his identity from someone he claims he love? Like, I don't understand. So, how did you find out? Dorothy. Dorothy, my sister, graduated from the private university. So she told me last night. So now you know how far men can go in being secretive. Seriously. So you guys are getting married? You know already. <laughs> Means I'll be left alone when all my girls are taken. Your girls, I don't understand. Charity is getting married pretty soon. To the same Alice? Yes. To the same poor classroom teacher. And to think that the same Charles, whom I looked down on, is the only son of the son. You know, life happens, right? Alex? 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 Hi. Oh my God. You're so lost in thoughts. I mean, what are you thinking about? Are you okay? You've been lost in thought for a while now. What are you thinking about? Do you mind sharing? Dorothy now knows who I am. What happened? She came to the office today to submit an application. What? Oh my God. I can imagine the shock on her face. Yeah. I equally told her everything she needed to know about Tracy and I. I didn't want to keep her in the dark. Really? You shouldn't have. You should have just let things be the way they are. I owe her an explanation. You see? I don't want this entire situation to hit me in the face when she finally finds out about me. Even at that, I think it's still early for her to know. Sis, don't forget I'll be going to their house for Dorothy's introduction. She'll definitely find out. So now that you've told her, what did she say? She left. How? 
She said she's done. She can't continue. I said it. I said it. You should have allowed her to accept your proposal before you tell her. I think I did the right thing. It is better for her to know now than later. Hmm. Now that she has left, how do you convince her to, to come back? Why is she not picking up? She's probably slept. <sighs> she's not picking up. Maybe she's still upset with me. I'll call her one more time. ended the call. Oh. Dorothy, are you still mad at me? I, I just want to see you and talk things over. That even reminds me, Dorothy. Yeah. What about the young teacher that asked for your hand in marriage? What is going on? Well, Dad, uh, I haven't seen or taken his calls for two weeks. Why not? What happened? Um, I'm no more interested. Are you not compatible or are your genotypes not matching? What? Tell me. He's a liar. And I can't be with a man who lies. He lied to you? Come on. Tell me about it. Alex is not a teacher. Then, what is he? He is the medical director at Alexander Hospital. In fact, he owns the hospital. It's a lie. Alex is a surgeon, Dad. Are you saying that Alex is a medical doctor? Yes. He lied to me that he was an ordinary classroom teacher. Wow's been a medical director all along. Okay, but if he's not a teacher and um, he's a medical doctor, that's also fine. Is that not okay with you? I mean, what's wrong with that? Well, Dad, I should be asking you, what's wrong with being a classroom teacher? I mean, teaching is a unique profession. You would agree with me. I do. I also know that there is dignity in labor. But then, he may have said what he said for a reason. Well, it's not going to work. Alex is the same person who jilted Tracy. Oh. Ah.
Very little, my daughter. You see why I was, or rather I have always been worried about your sister and her bad behavior. Between you and I, if that young man, a medical doctor, were to be your brother, would you encourage him to marry Tracy? Dad. I don't I don't want Tracy to see me as a backstabber. Trust me, she's she's gonna wage war. And mom, she'll have my head. So no, please, no. <sighs> Alex, the poor classroom teacher. Henrietta, what has come about you? For the often time, this poverty-stricken boy can never marry my daughter. Mom, you know you are embarrassing our guest, you know? You Will know. you shut your mouth? How dare you speak when I'm speaking? Dr. Alice, please forgive my wife for her unruly behavior. <laughs> oh. oh. Doctor, Alex, who, who is the doctor? You came here with your clothes all stashed up. You probably borrowed it from a laundry house somewhere. To impress who? Oh, not me. Um, Derek. Yes, Dad. Please. 